I'm joined by Libertarian candidate Neil Bellevue, a business owner and digital marketer, also Republican Representative Dan Mao, the incumbent, and Democrat Marty Qualley, an Adams County Commissioner. Thank you all for being here. We do have some rules to go over. There are two issues. Each of you will get to respond and offer a rebuttal to your opponent's response. Responses will be limited to 45 seconds, rebuttals 30 seconds. To determine who answers first, we are using alphabetical order of your last names for the first question and reverse alphabetical order for the second. So the first issue here, we're talking about the high gas prices. Pennsylvania's gas tax, one of the highest in the nation, it's about 60 cents. Is that too high? And what is the best way to fund bridge and road repairs and the state police? Neil, we'll start with you. Well, it is one of the highest in the country and it's unfortunate that our legislature has taken siphon from that money and give it to the state police and other things. If we didn't actually do that and kept the money where it was supposed to be, I think we'd be fine with, you know, paying for bridges and roads rather than, you know, taking that money from other sources. Okay, we'll move on. Same question. Um, when it comes to bridge and road repair, Act 89 from back in the Corbett administration, we actually passed and I voted for the increase, which moved us up to 57.6 cents per gallon. When you, in the scheme of things, that's not a ton of money. Yes, it's high compared to the other states, but you gotta keep in mind, we have the second highest number of road miles owned by the Commonwealth of, and of all the other states. We're number two. Therefore, we have a lot to take care of. We have just about as many bridges or more bridges to maintain than any other state in the, com or in the country. So we have to have a much higher gas tax uh, in order to maintain that. Uh, do, we, do we siphon off money? Yeah, money goes for safety, and it's only part of the state police budget and funding. Commissioner Qualley, same question. Yep, and, and Dan is absolutely right about our, our road mileage. I mean, we're not just the second largest. We have more roads than New York State, Massachusetts, Connecticut combined. And then when you add to that our, our frost and thaw cycles in Pennsylvania, I mean, the joke in PA is if you don't like the weather, just wait, it's gonna change. And it's literally destroying our roads. So if the state doesn't take care of it, then the individual drivers do, because it will just kill your car. So the problem with the gas tax, I don't know about it being too high right now, it is incredibly high, but it is an incredibly big issue. It's functionally going to become a problem with hybrids and electric cars out there taxing fuel as an impact on the road is not going to be adequate in the long run my major concern about funding roads and bridges is i want to see local money go to local roads i'm tired of the rural money going out to the neil state. you have 30 seconds yeah he claimed you know raise, raising the gas tax but you can keep on raising it but if you keep siphoning that money off into other services you're never going to get caught up the PA Constitution says that money has to be used for roads and bridges, and it's not 100%. And Dan, Neil has asked me to use your first names here. Dan, this next question, or 30 seconds to you. Yeah, I, siphoning off sounds like a, a harsh word, but when it comes to uh, using some of the gas tax money to pay for state police services, I'd hate to do without the state police. I don't think it's, it's a bad thing to utilize some of our highway uh, expenses to cover safety issues on our state highways. Commissioner Qualley, 30 seconds. Well, and the challenge is you have the state system, you have the local system. What I wanna see is the state takes care of its roads and it gives municipalities and local government a way to fund their own roads so that rural money stays in rural counties. It doesn't go to fix urban roads. Okay, our second issue today, marijuana legalization. Other states have made recreational marijuana legal is this something that Pennsylvania should do? And we'll start with Commissioner Qualley. Well, the first thing is I fully support funding, or sorry, I fully support medical marijuana in Pennsylvania. And I think the first step towards a recreational discussion is to expand allowable uses of medical marijuana in Pennsylvania, including better pain management um, prescriptions, potentially short-term prescriptions. The biggest challenge with legalizing marijuana is we've got to fix our outdated DUI laws. We have people who now are legally taking a medicine and if you take it today, you could get a DUI in 40 days. Not impaired, not intoxicated, that's ridiculous. We must fix that problem before we get into the recreational world. I think that at other states, the numbers we're seeing in the reduction in opioid addiction and in the funding sources is showing a lot of potential for Pennsylvania. Dan, same question. I, this doesn't happen often, but I tend to agree with my <laughs> county commissioner. Uh, 
on, on the fact that we need to change the DUI laws. It is ridiculous that people who uh, are taking something that was prescribed by their doctor and it's completely out of their system, but yet the strains of it will show up later on in a blood test could be charged with DUI. That's something we in the legislature must fix. I agree with that completely. Am I ready to vote for recreational marijuana in Pennsylvania? I'm not even close. I did vote for the medical marijuana use. If it helps even one child or one adult with their pain management, I'm all for it but not for recreational purposes because we've watched other states do this and it's pretty much uh, deteriorating from their way of living. Neil? Yeah, marijuana, the prohibition on it is a complete failure. And you know, all the people it needs to be decriminalized and all the people are released out of jail. It's a plant, it's something natural. It should be you know, regulated like a tomato that you buy in a grocery store. You know, it's, um, you know, it's a bridge over from opiates you know, it gets away from doctors prescribing opiates, pain pills, it's Tic Tacs. And, you know, it's a completely natural plant and it should not be regulated by the state. You know, that's just going to, another revenue source that's going to be tax. You know, we get situations like California where there's just so much tax, it's a failed industry right now out there. We're going to move on to Commissioner Qualley for a 30 second response. I'm not sure I have much of a response because we, we all are very similar in it. Um, I would say that when it comes to the recreational adult use, and that's the key thing, it's adult use. We have to start looking at the states surrounding us are going legal and there is revenue that Pennsylvania residents are going across borders to buy something legally in another state and then bring it here in essence illegally. And if that's going to continue, I mean, the prohibition on alcohol did not last in America. The prohibition on marijuana is not going to last. It's only a matter of time. And where uh, Commissioner Qualley had just mentioned to go across the border to buy something that's legal even our medical marijuana by the feds laws is not legal it's still a schedule one drug so to, to get, take it to a next step of making it legal for recreational purposes uh, there is no such thing as buying legal marijuana and to answer uh, neil's question uh, opium starts with a plant as well so you just can't say that that plants are good and everything else is bad. Most everything does start as a plan. Neil, the final 30 seconds. I said that and I also follow, followed up with saying that the doctors are prescribing it. So I was leading towards, you know, the, the pain pills that are being handed out like anything. Again, it's a plant should be decriminalized. People should be, not be in jail for it. Thank you all for coming and to sharing your responses to all of these issues that we've been talking about very important before this election. And we will continue these debates throughout the election process.